The end of winter marks the beginning of a special season in New England, maple sugaring time. A four to six week stretch when sugar makers draw sap from trees and turn it into maple syrup, more than three million gallons worth in the U.S. last year. Some of those sugar makers rely on a vast network of vacuum lines to deliver sap from trees in the middle of the woods directly to their sugar houses. But those lines can leak and finding them can be time consuming. We have uh, 72 main lines in this woods. You'd have to walk until you found the, the leak. This season, Donnie Richards is trying something new, a wireless monitoring system called TapTrack. This line number five is showing red, so that means I have a leak. A network of solar battery-powered radio units are strapped to trees, with each one able to monitor the pressure on a half dozen main lines. If one springs a leak, sugar makers get an alert on their computer or smartphone. It can even help track an intruder. Uh, last year we saw where uh, during the day a porcupine had walked by the line, had cut it, you know, ate a hole in it. Uh, there's a line that's red on their map, you know, so we will out and look. And before we had even gotten ready, there was another line on the map. So we walked to one line and you could follow the porcupine prints right to the next line where he'd cut it. Similar systems are catching on as the technology becomes more commercially available, allowing sugar makers to spend less time in the woods and more time making syrup. It's, it's simple, it's nice, it's good, it's convenient. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.